Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done a video that hasn't been an animation and as a result some questions have popped up like uh, what happened to behind the scenes and uh, why, why no videos for for the second channel uh, along with a bunch of other questions uh, comments I see often and I still do I read all the comments I can't really answer all of them so this video is to kind of cover as many of those as possible uh, and hopefully let you guys know what's going on. So, firstly, some of the techno stuff, uh, technical stuff out of the way. What software do I use? I get this question a couple times every time I upload a video. Um, I've answered it a ton of times by responding to comments. I've mentioned it in a, uh, in a couple videos, and I'll probably still get asked it after this question. But, for those of you who are watching who don't know, I use Autodesk Maya as my software of choice. It's fairly expensive, but you can get the student license just by signing up on their website. Uh, and how did I get started using Autodesk Maya? How did I learn? Well, I'm not taking any kind of classes. I really just use the internet uh, to learn how to use it. So forum sites, obviously YouTube has been a huge help. Uh, reading the help page, so if you press F1 in the software, it brings up the help page. Using that, as of late, um, now that I've gotten pretty good at solving my own problems, the only resource I really need, uh, I use at least on a regular basis, is the help page. Um, also, paid services like Linda and Digital Tutors, uh, those are great websites for, for really well done, uh, like professional tutorial videos, courses, whatever you want to call them, uh, if you can afford the $25 a month, uh, which I've actually, I've done, I've gotten one month of Linda and one month of Digital Tutors in the past, and I've just binge watched everything that looked interesting. Um, I actually watched everything on lynda.com uh, back a couple months ago, but they probably add stuff since then, so maybe I'll get another month. But that's you don't have to have that stuff. Really, everything you need to know to get at least to oop, I bumped the mic. <laughs> at least uh, everything you need to know to get to my level of skill, if that's what you want to call it, uh, is just free on the internet for for you to find and use. So um, some of you have noticed that I've been doing two animations a week for the past couple of weeks and have expressed concern. Uh, of me being overworked and and firstly thank you for that but no actually I've gotten pretty darn quick I mentioned in the past that it I've done a video in less than 24 hours and I like to revise that saying I've done a video I've done a many video and in a 12 hour span now that's not to say I like to do that uh, generally a week for me consists of three to four days doing animation these stuff and three to four days of doing nothing related uh, so it's about an even split. Uh, in a pinch, I can do a video in like 12 hours. For example, a couple weeks ago, I went on vacation for a week. Uh, the week before I left, I made three animations so that two could go up when I was leaving. And then uh, when I got back, there was already one uploaded. And then I went ahead and just grinded through a 12-hour work session where I was able to make the fourth one. So I don't like to do that all the time, but in a pinch, I can do it pretty quickly. At least I think so. So why aren't you making tutorial videos for the second channel on those other three to four days? Well, I've been just kind of enjoying my summer. I think uh, school starts for me in a couple weeks here. I think once that happens, I'll probably start making videos a lot more uh, for the main channel, like behind the scenes videos and stuff, uh, as well as tutorial channels. The next thing that's coming is a, uh, uh, a rigging series. Definitely want to do a rigging series. Personally, I think it's kind of advanced, at least for beginner users, but People have been asking for it, that's what they want to see, so I'm like, okay, that's what I'll do. So, eventually, a rating series will come. I want to get started on it as soon as possible, but it might not be until, like, around when I start school that I actually get into into starting that. So, it'll be there eventually, I promise. <laughs> um, speaking of other kinds of videos, uh, for the main channel, because right now it's just animations that you've already seen on Captain Sparkle's channel, so it's kind of redundant. And yeah, but like I said, I've been just kind of lazy on the days I haven't been making animations. So I want to get back to making other kind of videos. Like I mentioned, behind the scenes videos. I also mentioned on Twitter, uh, actually a while ago, I had gotten a, a pretty sweet new computer with some monitors and I want to do like a set of video. Uh, I haven't done that because like I keep changing things and adding things. I'm like, well, I'll, I'll, I can do that after after I make this new thing or whatever, or after I add this new thing and then it's just kind of like, whoa, well, it's been a while. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of something like that. Um, also like uh, time-lapse uh, time lapse videos of me making the animations. I've seen getting asked about the problem with that would be recording 10 to 20 hours of footage takes up a lot of hard drive space. 
even with something that's encoding it in real time, like a Bandicam or, or, uh, or what's the other one? I can't remember the name of the other one. I personally use Bandicam for, for all my recording stuff or screen capture stuff. Uh, and that does a pretty good job of encoding it into a reasonable file size, but they're still pretty darn big. Even at a low frame rate, doing 20 hours or so of footage would be a lot of hard drive space. And I'm using, I personally, I hate hard disk drives. I only use SSDs. And um, I've got a couple drives in my computer, but the main one is 500 gigabytes. And that's not a whole lot of space. Like, I think I've got like 100 gigabytes left right now. Um, and recording like 20 hours of footage I would not fit. I think that would use probably all of those 100 gigabytes. So that might be a little impractical. This is something like that. Kind of an alternative to that would be like streaming or something. Um, but... Uh, I don't know. I I think it would it could be fun to do that, and I think it uh, it would be it would help me like stay on track because I get distracted pretty darn easily. But at the same time, even if it's only a couple people watching, I don't know how I'd feel about like showing what it's going to be about before it's out. So I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think of of those kind of videos and any suggestions for other other kind of videos because I really do I like making videos. It's fun. So let me know what you what you'd like to see uh, from what I've mentioned or any any other thing you might think of and this brings us to what's been asked a lot at least as of recent is uh, why you why you always make videos for Packers channel and, and, and why don't you make videos for other people um, and just to, to kind of answer that let me bring it back to before or early on uh, originally I made uh, the Captain Sparkles origin story to my night animation and uh, Champ one for was the first one to see it and he like retweeted it and then everybody else saw it and it was super awesome and then uh, Captain Sparkles contacted me asking if he could get it and and use it on his channel. I'm like, sure, that's, yeah, totally. Of course I'm going to say yes to that. And um, and after that, a couple weeks, or I think, yeah, a couple weeks went by. And they had started the, the um, what was it called? Trinity Island, that's it. They had started Trinity Island. And from the first episode, I was like, yes, I'm going to make animations of people dying. Uh, or, or their death animations, uh, as because inevitably, I think we all knew they were gonna. Well, somebody was gonna die pretty early, uh, so I was super pumped to to for the first person to die because it's like I want to make this animation. Um, so originally, we all know Tucker died in episode three and all that. And after that, I uploaded it and um, well, no, actually, I shared it with, with Tucker as well. And uh, and from there, Captain Sparrow was like, "Hey, if you ever want to make you know another video for my channel, I'd happy I'd happy to to get it from you." And I was like, "Yeah, sure." Um, so uh, I made a, a couple of those. Uh, occasionally, I'd make those highlight animations, and it became more and more frequent till it was once a week. Uh, I would have a highlight animation, and it was just kind of like a thing. And and he, he was just like, "Well, let's make this official. Do you want to do the two animations a week?" And and I was like, "Sure. That that'd be awesome." And it's been kind of great. Uh, I was able to quit my my normal day job uh, to do animation all the time, which is definitely something I want to do. Uh, and and so hopefully that's a satisfactory answer of why they're always about Captain Speck. Um, and then kind of recently he started uploading them first, and and I actually was the one who brought that up uh, based on our the way we had things worked out. I was like, hey, I think it's more fair if you upload first. Um, and he's like, all right, sure, that's fine. And and that was that. So it was actually me. Who brought that up? Uh, not him, as some people would say, and him taking advantage of me or anything like that. Nope, I was the one who actually mentioned that because I thought it'd be more fair. So that is uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Go ahead and leave your thoughts about anything I've mentioned in this video, uh, along with uh, the stuff about uh, other video ideas, uh, as I mentioned, or any other ideas you might have about other things. I'm, I'm interested what you see. What yeah, I'm interested to see what you think. Um, and I'll definitely be keeping an eye on this video for a couple of days after it's up. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.